Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the viewport, its examples, and we will be also seeing this through the chat GPT. So, let's begin. So, what is viewport? Viewport is a built-in feature of Cypress through which we can test our web application on different screen sizes or resolutions. And why we need to do this? For that, let me open the browser here and let's go to google.com and the screen you are seeing right now is, is a basically a desktop size or the laptop size screen. However, in actual, your application will be used across a different sizes. For example, your user might be using the iPad and iPad has a different screen size. Similarly, your user might be using the mobile phone and we have a different mobile sizes as well. And as the owner of the application, we need to ensure that every user coming from the different screen sizes should have a smooth experience and application should be working as it is. So let me show you different screen sizes, the common sizes here. For that, just click, right click on this one, click on inspect and here you see this and click on this one and here you will see that how our application will look like on the different dimensions so the dimension is basically a screen size or the resolutions here is a basically a screen size mentioned and let me do it 100 percent so in actual this is a size of samsung galaxy s8 plus and this is how google suggests should be looking like on the galaxy and similarly if i click on uh, this one we have different options available like iphone xr then we have you know ipad air and again ipad you see it's a different screen size okay and again if i go to some other like surface do and uh, it has some different screen size and furthermore not only the screen sizes but uh, as a mobile user or the ipad user we have a different modes okay we can rotate the screen the orientation of the screen as well so this is how it will change the orientation of my ipad or my mobile so this is how it will look like and it's, this is the reason user can use from any perspective and as an automation engineer we have to write a code in such a way that our application should be tested across the common screen resolutions and this is where the viewport comes in and let me uh, search here for the cypress viewport but before that i'm coming out of this one and let me type cypress view port here and go to the documentation here and control the size and orientation of the screen for your application and this is a very basic sentence where we have to use cy dot viewport method provide the width height present orientation width height options so there are multiple ways of using it and what is the correct uh, usage simply either we have to provide the resolution in terms of width and height or we can provide the name of the device so by default what happens is that if i scroll down here so if i provide the name automatically cypress will provide this width and height okay so now let's uh, do a practical on this one and uh, let me go to visual studio code here and let me create one file here i am naming it as viewport.js and let me copy this basic reference line from here and paste it here and you know that we need to use a describe block and here i am saying at learning view port and we need to use a callback function here and here is the body of function and because i want to op for example i want to open the google home page but i want to open this page so that every time my test executed it, it should got executed on the different screen sizes so for that reason let me put it uh, the url into before each so before each 
and um, let me change this one before each and in before each we need to provide the function and simply this is the arrow function here and this is the body so this is simple before each and here in before each i will be providing cy dot visit and here we will be providing the application url so simply i will go here and let me open google.com and from google.com uh, let me go here and uh, provide it here and this is the before each because before every test this page will be open and once it will be open we will change the screen size and test those particular screen sizes so here what i'll do is that create a it block and let me name it as for example let's suppose we want to test it on the ipad 2 so let me copy this name from here and paste it here and again we know that we need to use a callback function here and this is a body of callback function and here simply what i'll do is that c y dot log i'm just logging this value here that's it and let me save this one and now let me create the multiple tests here but before that let me open the test runner here cypress npx cypress open meanwhile it will get open i will copy my this test from here and paste it here and then again uh, i will change the screen resolution so let me go with the iphone x and this is the resolution of iphone x let me copy from here and let me go here and let me change the test name and this one and uh, let me add one more screen size so let me add here and now what i'll do is that i will go with the let's go with the macbook uh, 16 because it has a bigger screen size resolution we want to see this one so let me go here and here instead of iphone x i will provide macbook 16 and will log this uh, as well and uh, as we know that cypress execution is very very fast so what i'll do is that i will put some weight in the test so cy dot weight and here we need to provide the time in terms of uh, many seconds so if i want to wait for three seconds so we need to provide a three thousand here so let me copy from here uh, again and here and this is my first test where the screen should um, open on uh, the particular ipad and this one this one and here and this one and we haven't used the cy dot viewport command here so this is uh now we will add this command here so cy dot viewport and we need to provide the viewport so if i go back to this one so here you will see that so this is a correct usage of the viewport either we can provide width and height or we can use in this way so let me go back here and for the ipad 2 so 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 here i will provide the ipad this is a name for this particular resolution right and let me copy it from here the second one here is basically iphone x uh, let me copy this one paste it here and the third one is basically our macbook 16 screen size so let me provide this one here and let me name it here as well so either you can provide these names as cypress suggested or we can provide the screen resolution so let me uh, create one more block of code here let me create this one and here we will provide the height and width and uh, i will say for example custom resolution and here uh, i will go with 
uh, the width and height this time for this i will provide this one from here let me copy this one let me go here and uh, provide this width and height and that's it we need to log this value here and we are done let me save this one and now let's run this one and see what's happened so in the test runner we need to go to this viewport.js let me click on this one and let's see what happens so it will go with the ipad screen size you will see this you will see a ipad screen size so this is ipad screen size it will be for three seconds then iphone x so this is iphone x screen and then macbook 16 so this is a macbook 16 screen size and now in the end it should go uh, with a custom one so it says viewport could not find a present for 5 comma 70 and if i go here so width and height and i mean we are using it in a correct way uh, actually there's some problem so problem is that we don't need to provide the quotes here because it will consider it as a string so that might be the reason here let me go back here and let me remove this one from here and what i lose that let me go back to my custom thing here for example for custom what i did is that let me go with the this one this is the custom one and i hope that it should work I was confused why it is not working because of this course here so it should work and let me save this as a custom resolution and let me copy this one from here and paste it here and save this one and see what happens so it supports the custom resolution and it says the custom resolution is supported and let's see so macbook then custom resolution yeah so custom resolution is also working fine you can provide any kind of resolution you have here and let me go back and change this to let's suppose let me change this to instead of 550 let me do 600 and see what happens here because it should work on the custom resolution as well and yes uh, let's see so macbook 16 is done and now custom resolution yes it's working absolutely fine here so that's how you can work with the viewport in the cypress now this is the way we actually learned now the second thing is that let's go with the chat gpt and see what chat gpt is suggesting so this is already a cypress automation chat is going on let me ask this what is viewport in cypress and see what chat gpt is saying and then we will ask chat gpt to provide some code of this one so the chat gpt is saying that the viewport in cypress refers to the dimensions of the browser window that the application be destined in other words viewport defines the visible area of the web page in cypress you can control the size of the viewport using cy dot viewport command this allows you to simulate uh, different skin sizes and viewport dimensions which is useful for testing the responsiveness of your web application for example this is uh, the code and you can set the viewport dimension using for iphone x using this or you can set the custom dimensions and this is very accurate to custom dimension of the viewport by specifying the width and size in the pixels and you can also set the viewport to be responsive meaning it will automatically adjust its size based on the size of the window so this is very accurate and this is how we have done uh, right now with the cypress thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial